Alright, hello, this is Great Map Zero One. It means that you probably saw my brother's two previous videos, but this time this is just this is just me explaining all of this. First we're just gonna start up with this complicated problem. And and before we can do it, we must know some certain important rules. Important rule number one. A to the power of B times A to the power of C equals A to the power of B plus C. And now... Let me look, let me look on the camera for this. What is it? And now, sorry. Okay, that's great. Now, got in here. Now, important rule number two. A to the power of B, in parentheses, with C, equals A to the power of B times C. Okay. And now, impo important rule number three. A to the power of negative B equals 1 over A to the power of B. Can I, can I look at this? Okay. Uh, sorry about this. Okay. Now, anyways, let's just get started on this. What, what is A on B? Give me an example of oh, A on B. Oh, and just so you know, for an example, here's what we're going to do. 2 is going to represent A. 1 is going to represent B. Oh, okay, so A and B are integer? Mm -hmm. Ethan? And C. Oh, fraction. Not only integer, there could be a I fraction. And too. 3 is going to represent C. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great. Okay, thank you. Can you, can you, what do you want to show? What should we do now? All right. Okay, now, now everyone. Now I'm going to show you the rules. Let's just get started on this problem. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, let's show it. All right, so four, four to negative one half times two to the power two times twenty-seven. You need to put your hand down. Is that okay? In parentheses, okay. by the power of negative one third times three by the power of three. Well, just that you know, if you bring them up, it will turn to the opposite. If it's a negative exponent, it will turn to a positive exponent. But if it's a positive exponent, it will turn to a negative exponent. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Continue. All right. So, therefore, 2 over 1. And then, since we're going to need prime numbers, we're going to do this. Let's go. 2 to the... 2 to the power of 2 times negative 1 half times 2 to the power of 2 times 3 by the power of 3 parentheses negative 1 third times 3 3 by the power of 3 times 2 to the by the power of 1 and then here's the results 2 2 by the power of negative 1 times 2 by the power of 2 times 3 by the power of negative 1 since you know the second rule, remember? Mm -hmm. Alright, then then 3 by the power of 3 and 2 by the power of 1 and then up next, we must group all the pro prime numbers together. So therefore, it's going to have to be this. 2 by the power of negative 1 times 2 by the power of 2 times 2 by the power of 1 times 3 by the power of negative 1 times 3 by the power of negative 3. And now... As you all remember about the first rule, but here's a little information. If you add from a negative a number, you're subtracting from the positive number. But now, the result of this is 2 by the power of 2, since you, all, since you also have to add 1, as you know, 
times 3 by the power of 2. Guys, as you see here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then that is the answer. Wow, so the three words were the most important words? Yep, so they, were the, they were so important in this whole thing that, that for problems like this, you will need it. Okay, so you did a, a chapter on fraction on exponent, is that correct? Of course I did. Show me an exponent quickly with your finger. What is an exponent? Well, show me. An exponent is repeated multiplication. Okay. But as we know, multiplication is repeated addition. Exactly, yeah. All right, so pretend that we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. It, it equals to 2 by the power of 5. Okay, 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 I see. Okay, well, good job for the first session, Ethan. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye and see you next time. All right, well, anyways, that's all, folks. Now, now. Now, see you next time. Laters.